All right, good people of the NBL Nation, welcome back to yet another vlog. This time, I'm actually gonna give you a tour of the NBL Nation studio. Did you know that our studio was featured on the Netflix series, This Is Pop, episode three? Did you know that Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, Westlife, NSYNC, and a ton of other artists from the late 90s and early 2000s recorded their biggest songs over here? Did you know that it was run by Max Martin and Dennis Pope? Did you know that I'm talking about the legendary studio, Sharon Studios, now called Rooks' Studios? But it's here where we have our little NBO headquarters, and I'm actually gonna take you along and show you what's going on inside. So come with, all right? All right, so I'm on my way to the EMI Universal office. As you all know, I run MBL. It's been a label, it's been a publishing, it's been a management, but now we're mainly focused on publishing and management. I also started working at EMI Universal a couple of months ago, and I love it. It's like an amazing experience. I come from the independent world, so to be at a major and to see how they work and how professional people are and how a real structure is when it comes to being a label, I've learned so much that people are truly professional. So I I love being there. So I have a couple meetings lined up, a couple of emails I need to answer. Yeah, you know how that goes. After that, I'm actually going to our studio, the MBL studio, and give you guys a tour of the studio. For those who don't know, our studio, which lies on the Roxy recording complex, is basically holy ground when it comes to music, especially pop music. It's Max Martin and Dennis Pop's old studio, the legendary Shadon studio, where Britney Spears recorded her biggest hits, where Backstreet boys recorded their biggest hits and it's actually a topic on one of the episodes on netflix of this is pop episode number three actually so i'm gonna show you a tour of that and see where legendary music was created so yeah follow me also make sure to subscribe make sure to like the video and make sure to comment all right as always thank you Alright, so welcome to the first floor. As you can see, we have like a common area where people could just sit, read a magazine, have small meetings. You see the Roxy sign over there and some posters that a label and they are the owners of this establishment that's their offices this is usually where they sit but then you have like mr radar it's the publishing and management they have done songs with mike posner and other artists as you see here we have the first studio it's a producer called victor tell great producer you can check him out he's done amazing music and hits hey, most of the producers here aren't assigned to proxy, we just do our own thing. Here are the bathrooms, and there's an elevator, and here's the back door. And I've been told that Backstreet Boys had to come in through this door, because there were a lot of people outside the building when they were here. I was one of them. I don't know if you've seen the Netflix episode from This Is Pop, but here's the hallway that E-Type was standing on. Here is, it doesn't look like much, but it's like a writing session studio. So there's a lot of people coming in and out of here writing songs. Here is Iran Mix It Mixing Studio. Yeah, he's not here now. He locks his door. Legendary studio. Let me turn down the ISO. This is actually David Bjork's studio, but it used to be Max Martin's studio. A lot of magic happened over here. And uh, let me take you to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. And this studio uh, also doesn't look like much right now, but this is the studio that Britney recorded Hit Me Baby One More Time in. So. Nobody's really using it. I'm not supposed to be in here anyways. And now let's go to our studio. Our studio used to be Dennis Pope's room. It's the main room. Here it is, the MBL sign. The boys, I need to do one for Anna too. And yeah, here's where we create magic. Where the banging beats are made. And uh, here's the, our mic booth. You can see over to the other studio. And here you can see over to the Studio now occupied by David Bjork. This is basically it. 